it's Mandy Liger from Edwards Pharmacy and this is Around Town with Mandy. The sun is shining and I have stopped at the allergist in town. Let's go in and see what's going to happen. All right, so we have made our way inside and I am here with Dr. Dwayne Gells from Eastern Shore Asthma and Allergy Specialist. And he is going to give us a little bit about what an allergist is, what they do, and why you go to an allergist. So how are you today, Dr. Gels? Great, Mandy. Thanks for coming over. Fantastic. So um, where are you located in Centerville? So we are right at 227 Liberty, okay. right in the center, not far from it, uh, Edwards Pharmacy. Yep, right down the street. A couple blocks. So people come to us um, for a variety of reasons. People have reactions to their environment. It could be in indoor environment or outdoor environment. People think about pollen, and although we're early in the season right today, pollen comes every spring, and many of us don't notice this, but they're having adverse reactions to uh, the pollen in the air. But also there are indoor allergens that can affect people. It affects their respiratory status. So that means their sinus is bad, they get post-nasal drip, their eyes, their you know, inside of the ears itch, they have trouble breathing and congestion. The inside allergens often are dust mites, molds, and often the household pet. The, uh, the no dog, one, the cat. No the... one wants to think of that. Correct. Um, it could be that someone has recurrent sinus infections because they're allergic to things they don't realize indoors. Um, Interesting. So it's important to get checked for it so you can avoid it and do something about it. Okay, so one of the procedures that does take place at an allergist um, is skin testing. And Dr. Gels himself is going to do some testing as well, as well with his uh, certified allergy technician, mm -hmm. uh, Tara. And um, we're gonna see what you're allergic to. So explain what happens here, sir. So as you, as you said, an important part of evaluation for somebody's allergies is to be tested. And we do skin testing, which is readily available. The first step in skin testing is prick testing. Now, I happen to know that I'm allergic to grass. Okay. So Tara, my allergy tech here, is doing to do a couple of tests one for grass, one for a negative test, negative control, and another one for a positive control. So you can see how we do prick testing and see what happens afterwards and how big it gets. Perfect. So okay. she's already prepped my arm. Okay, so most of it's done on the already, arm. Yes, and so you just place this, you rock it back and forth, and that's it. There are three little dots, as Mandy can certify there, and that, little drops of okay. various extracts dabs them like that there you go. and basically it's just waiting waiting to see if you have any kind of reaction now I already can feel a little itching on the grass but give us a few minutes here and we'll see what kind of reaction is and the test come up it tests for many things so we have the ability yeah. to test for as I was saying outdoor things okay. like grass pollen weed trees various molds that are outdoors and indoor things like cats and dogs um, variety of animals and the dust mites which many people have and they don't realize that dust mites are part of an indoor environment. They How can about be food? Is that a... Foods are also can be involved um, sometimes you can have very scary anaphylaxis to food so it's important to identify. We also test for penicillin testing. Oh yeah. Many people are labeled with penicillin allergy who really don't have penicillin right. allergy. It becomes a real problem because if you start avoiding several drugs then you have you're limited in how well you can treat the patient. A lot of the primary care folks, they really want to know whether or not they can give penicillin, and that's a, an important thing we, you know, service that we deliver. Sounds good. So we've waited, and as you can see, there are definitely welts on Dr. Gels' arm here. So as you can see, he's definitely allergic to grass. So what this is, is a positive test. We do this on everybody just to make sure their skin is uh, reasonably sensitive enough to testing. That was histamine, it's supposed to do that. This was saline, and there's nothing really there. But this G here stands for grass, not for gels, but it is a good sized welt. And I'm allergic to grass, I can tell you that. So this is the type of result we're looking for, although we'll do more than grass, we'll do the trees, weeds, and dust mites and molds, cat and dog, whatever else animal you might have, horses, gerbils, hamsters, and sort of thing, which can cause chronic respiratory symptoms leading to either wheezing, asthma, or upper respiratory, sinus, post-nasal drip, the and then from there, gamut. you just build a regimen of what medicines or things. So then we, got, then we get an action plan. And then I actually sit with every patient and I write down the action plan, what to do, how to avoid it, what medications to take. And some people go on allergy shots for more long-term permanent relief. So as you can see, 
I am getting ready to volunteer for a test and I am here with Tara. What exactly have I signed up for? We're going to do a pulmonary function test. Okay. We do this for patients who have a history of asthma, coughing, wheezing, a little tickle in the throat even. We routinely do it to assess breathing issues. Perfect. So let the testing begin. Okay, what happens? So put your information in already. So what you're going to do is take a big breath into your mouth. Okay. You're going to put your lips and your teeth on top of this mouthpiece and you're going to blow out really hard, really fast for as long as you possibly can. In the first second, you need to really gut it out. Use your stomach, stomach okay. muscles, so your back in, muscles. In and then out. Push it really hard. And we're going to blow some virtual Here candles comes. out. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Big breath in and blow. Punch it. Push, 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 push. Good. Good. All right, but you need to work harder. <laughs> yeah, this is an effort-dependent test, so I Got need it. you to work super hard. Okay. okay. Try again. Okay. And blow. Up. Punch it. Push, 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 push. All right, you got all the candles out. Yay! Now the computer's going to say that was a little easy for you, and it's going to make it a little difficult. Oh, fun! Because we need three good tries. I'm always up for a challenge. All right, and you really still got to gut it out. All right, big breath in, and blow. Punch it. Push, 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 Great. Ah! One candle left. That's okay. That's good. All right. And then we print it. So it does an evaluation? Mm-hmm. And then Dr. Gales will go over the results with you. Perfect. So, Dr. Gales, we are here in the lab. What exactly happens here under the microscope? So one of the things we do is, uh, in my office, I sample pollen in the area. And so when you come in saying you're itchy, you're sneezing, I, I can get an idea of what pollen is in the air. We get the sample and then we put it under the microscope. Then we identify the types of pollen from the trees that are emitting or grasses or weeds. So I set a little pollen grain up there. Why don't you have a look Perfect. in the microscope? So Dr. Giles, what exactly am I looking at? So in, on the slide, there is an object in the center that picked up the pink stain that we use. Can you, can you get it, describe what you're seeing? So it's kind of shaped like a kidney. There you go. A it's little, a little bit, bit on the side. With a little tail. What they have is on both sides, they're called bladders. So why don't you look over to the, our little book there. Okay. Pictures. And can you, does that look something like you saw? Yeah, kind of like this. Like that one. Mm -hmm. That's pine pollen. So early in the season, uh, we'll see some pine. Um, it can be mixed with other pollens as well. This particular one only has the one I zoomed in for you so you can see. But looking through this book, and you can page through, there's a number of different pollens that are Oh yeah, available. it's full so, of. So here's some other ones, the alder, right? And oak, some maple with little horns and things. So birch, so, and there's grasses and weeds and the way we can, we can identify. So for instance, this is more like a ragweed pollen on right. that one there. So we take, we combine what your skin tests show, your symptoms, the timing of your symptoms, and what we see uh, on, the, on the scope to figure out what kind of outdoor allergens. So as we conclude our tour today here with Dr. Gels, um, he is going to give us one tip about allergies in this little guy that's sitting behind us here on the counter. Right, so far we've talked about outdoor allergens, things outdoors that people are allergic to. Well, a big part of your environment is indoors, and dust mites are an important part of most people's environment. Most people's houses have some degree of dust mite. This little critter here is a dermatophagoides. That means skin eating. So he likes to be where you sleep, in your bedding, in your upholstered furniture, uh, in your carpet. So if we find that you're allergic to dust mites, we'll give you tips on how to reduce your dust mite exposure. So that reduces how much allergy you have, how much sinus disease, post nasal drip, and uh, if not, if we can't reduce it, then we give medication and ultimately some people take allergy shots for a more permanent fix. Perfect. So as we concluded here today, we've learned a little bit about allergies, asthma, I've done a blowing test, we've tested Dr. Gales' arm for grass allergies, all sorts of things happen here in the office. Definitely, if you're interested or want to know more about allergies or asthma and think you may have allergies or asthma, Check out the link below or give them a call, contact them or Facebook, um, as well as their website, and we can schedule an appointment to visit Dr. Gales. Thank you so much for the tour, sir. Thank it was you, a Mandy. pleasure. Yes, indeed. A lot of fun. We'll see you next week.